Hi, I'm going to look at the third lesson in the differentiation two pack on implicit differentiation. Uh, it's really, really nice implicit differentiation. Uh, you just differentiate each bit separately, but if you're using the wrong letter, put a dy by dx next to it. So I'll show you. So I differentiate x squared. I know it's 2x, but I've differentiated with respect to x, so that's fine. Then look at the y squared. That's going to be a 2y, but I've differentiated with respect to y, so I just stick a dy by dx next to it. So that was a y squared dealt with. The 3x, well, that just becomes a 3. The minus 4y becomes a minus 4. But once again, because I've differentiated with respect to x, but that's y, I'll put a dy by dx next to it. Then if I differentiate 9, that becomes 0. So I've got the expression, but I want to find dy by dx. So I'm going to rearrange it. So I'm going to move the 2x, then I'm going to move the 3. So I've got 2y dy dx minus 4 lots of dy dx is equal to minus 2x minus 3. If I take the dy by dx out as a factor, I've got 2y minus 4 is minus 2x minus 3. There. Divide through by the 2y minus 4. Got minus 2x minus 3 all over 2y minus 4. There. That's that example done. Right. Let's have a look at the next one. So 2e to the 3x. So you know if it's e to the f of x. That goes to f dash of x, e to the f of x. So that's going to be 2 times by 3 e to the 3x. That's a 3 there. And then minus, if I differentiate this, it'll be minus 2 e to the minus 2y. But because I've done it with the wrong letter, I need a dy by dx. The dy by dx goes next to it. It doesn't get attached to the minus 2y because you're differentiating the whole function. And then that plus 7 becomes a 0, and 0 stays a 0. If I tidy it up a little bit, because it's always good to tidy things up as you go, I've got 6e to the 3x, I've got plus 2e to the minus 2y, dy dx. That's all equal to 0. If I take the 6e to the 3x over, I've got 2e to the 3x dy dx is equal to minus 6e to the 3x. If you divide through by the 2e to the 3x, I get dy by dx is minus 6e to the 3x over 2e. Uh, messed up on a... Where have I messed up? That should be 2y there, shouldn't it? Minus 2y. First mistake. It's doing ever so well. There, so that's a minus 2y there. Right then, let's have a look. The 6 and the 2 both cancel to leave a 3. So I know that dy by dx is minus 3 times something. I've got the e to the 3x. Now then, this e to the minus 2y I'm going to take up to the top. And if you remember, if I take it up to the top, that changes the sign on the power. So that's going to be times by e to the positive 2y. And then, if you remember your laws for indices, I'm going to add those two together. So my final answer will be dy by dx is minus 3e to the 3x add 2y there. I'll just put a little bracket around that so you know what you're doing. Okay, so that's the first two done. Let's have a look at this next one. Now this one's a little bit cheeky because if you, use, if you 
differentiated it as it was, you'd have the x, y in the middle and you'd have to use product rule on it. But if I use my log laws, I can split the log of x, y up as a log of x, add on the log of y. And that makes it a little bit easier to deal with. Every time I do anything sine or cosy, put that down at the side there, don't make a mistake. So sine goes to cos x, cos goes to minus sine y, it's the wrong letter, dy dx. Log x becomes 1 over x, log y becomes 1 over y, but once again it's the wrong letter, so dy by dx, and that's equal to 0, there. Right then. If I take the cos x and the 1 over x over, so I've got minus sine y dy dx plus 1 over y dy dx, that's going to be equal to uh, minus cos x minus 1 over x. There. Um, if I take out the dy by dx as a factor, I'm just going to swap the 1 over y and the sine y over dy dx. It's minus cos x minus 1 over x. And then dividing through dy by dx is uh, minus cos x minus 1 over x over 1 over y minus sine y. There you go. Now you could combine the top as a single fraction and combine the bottom as a single fraction. So if you did that, that would be minus x cos x minus 1 over x divided by 1 minus y sine y over y. If I flip the bottom fraction, whoops, I've got my dy by dx. If I flip the bottom fraction, I've got minus x cos x minus 1, all times by y over 1 minus y sine y, all times by x. That's probably going way too far. There. Right, let's have a look. See if we can do example two in the time that we've got. Oops. Do you know what? I'm going to leave example two for the next one.